everyone and welcome back to my channel i am antoinette from simply a chic today's video i am sharing how you can make these simple yet cute diy projects that are perfect for canada day using most items from dollar tree also i am participating in the canada a eh? challenge with a group of canadian talented friends here on youtube hosted by lisa at lisa and company i will link her channel and a playlist down in the description box below for you to check out and hopefully be inspired for this project i am using this wood heart shape from dollar tree also i am going to use some of this felt garland of maple leaf that I had from Dollar Tree last year and this forward it's wall stickers that come in a pack of eight pieces from Dollarama so at first I am gonna draw a line in the middle then I will measure about two inches on each side where the widest part are on the heart then I will draw some straight lines as you see me doing Next, I'm going to use some of this acrylic red paint and start painting the two areas on each side. And once it's dry, hear how it looks so far. Now I am going to measure to see how much I need to cover the middle part. Then I cut it out. And then I peel off the back and adhere it to the wood. Then I cut any excess out using my crafting knife. Then I cut any excess out using my craft knife. Next I poke where the hole is on the side. And then I put the jute hanger back in. Lastly, I take one of the red maples and I had glue it down right here in the middle and I really love how cute and festive this Canada flag came out. Next project, I am using this foam wreath from Dollar Tree. Also, I am using some of these red and white felt rolls that I got from Dollar Tree as well. So what I'm going to do here is that I will measure about 4 inches wide and I cut out few strips same size. So here I have two strips of each color and I will need one more of each color as well. Next, I'm going to secure it with some hot glue and then I start wrapping it on the wreath like you see me doing. Then I will do same thing with the rest of the strips alternating between the red and white until I cover the whole wreath. Next, I'm going to make some mini banners. So I fold the felt about one inch and then I cut it. Then I cut it in triangle shapes as you see me doing. I will also do same thing on the white felt as well. Next, I bring some white yarn and I start hot gluing these banners on the yarn. And then I tie the yarn on the wreath, then wrap it across the wreath a couple of times. Then I hot glue some more banners on the yarn to have two rows. Then I secure the end of the yarn on the wreath. And once I get all that together, I take these maples and I try to cut them smaller just as the white size. Then I separate them and hot glue them on the wreath. Now here's the finished look, absolutely beautiful.
Next project is super simple. I am using this canvas banner from Dollar Tree. It comes in a bag of four pieces. So at first I will measure about two centimeters on each side and draw lines. I will go ahead and do same thing on all the pieces. Next I'm going to take some painter's tape and tape it on the canvas to help me get clean lines when I paint the sides. And once I get all that done I will go ahead and paint the sides with this acrylic red paint and then I will allow them to dry completely. And once they are dry, I fold the top part and hot glue them together. At this point, I should have glued the jute twine inside as well. But for some reason, I thought to add the jute later, which you will see in a minute adding the jute. But it would have been easier if I did that step now. So next, I am going to take these maples and hot glue one on each flag. Lastly, I am going to add the jute and here where I struggled to thread it through the banner. So what I did was that I tied the jute on a nail and thread the nail through as you see me doing. It actually worked great and I really love how cute it turned out. Next project is also super simple. I am using this old terracotta pot that I used in a different project. And as you can see, I painted it in white and distressed it with some brown. Also, I still have some floral foam inside it. So what I'm going to do here is that I will paint around the rim of the pot with some acrylic red paint. Also, I will paint this part of the pot in red. And once the red paint is dry, I am going to use this white maple that I already separated from the red one. And then I adhere it on this red paint area. Then I cover the rim with some painter's tape and I make sure to press down gently with my fingers on the tape and on the maple so the paint won't bleed through. Now that I got all that done, I will take it outside and spray paint it with this Rust-Oleum white paint. And once the paint is dry, I am going to peel everything off. And if there is any bleeding, I just take some red paint and with thin brush, I go over it. And that's all for this part. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these projects and I hope you found some of these ideas helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment below which one was your favorite project in today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload my next one. And until then, be well and have fun.